Hey everyone, so today we're going to talk about how to prevent a scam and how do you spot a rug pull or honeypot in the first place. So we're going to look into this recent scam aka squid game <laughs> crypto um nft game so right now this is all we can see with its website uh once you see this once you can access the, their website anymore it's already too late how do we find out if something is legit in the first place before this happens before fly by night devs take our money away first things first the dev is more interested in raising money than developing the game sure that you're entitled to getting paid for your efforts to develop the game but you have to present some value first there's none of that supposedly there should be a beta this month they're going to release the beta version of that game but none of that happened i don't know if they even released the alpha version of the game if you take a look at the, um, their twitter so here we can see that devs more concerned about money instead of the actual game like where's the actual game for example in wanaka farm they they released an alpha they've allowed the players to try it out first before you know getting money although just because the dev let handful of players test the game doesn't also necessarily mean that the game or the crypto project is already legit they can you know take your money and say bye and not develop the game anymore or not develop the game at all so yeah as you can see here in their twitter account they're more concerned about the money they just teased us with screenshots if you look at their website it looks pretty kind of legit you know it looks good 456 members needed for starting the game also 456 quid are needed to start the game and they're supposed to launch this this november coming soon see i thought there, there's gonna be like at least a download whatever i've seen this game on mobile actually they've probably just stolen somebody's game and then slapped it there on their website and probably somebody spotted them stealing one squid during the time when they launched the website at least the pre-sale during the pre-sale is around three to five dollars let me just check and you need 456 squid to join the game 456 times three you need the 1368 so like like what are around that much in dollars times 50 it's gonna be in peso 68,000 just to join one round it just that's just for one round there's only a few of you who will survive the first round so let's check the they didn't elaborate how you're actually gonna earn marbles because they again they've never released at least a beta or an alpha state of the game they didn't say, but I'm I'm assuming that you have to go through this first and survive this. If not, you have to like go through this level over and over until you survive. Aside from trying to survive that, you have to pay an entry fee more than double the entry fee in level 1. And then level 3, you have to buy one NFT. If that doesn't scream scam to you, I don't know what to do with you. Since they're not officially related to the, net, the official Netflix show, they can be held liable for, you know, license license or trademark issues so or branding issues, something like that. So they have to buy the license from the show, similar to Dead by Daylight, buying the license of Stranger Things. Okay, number two. You have to check their contract here in Snow Token Sniffer and also in BS Check Squid to USD. Okay, there you go. Copy that. Actually, if you click that address, we will be redirected here in BSC Scan. Their token is verified, but that doesn't mean that it's already legit, you know. That just means that uh, it's been verified here. There's like a readable, human readable format of their contract. But unless... Oh no, there's none. Wait. I thought there's there's... Uh, okay, so here for Axie Infinity, you can see that they have a human readable contract. Although, again, just because they have this doesn't mean that um, it's already legit. Although, of course, Axie Infinity is legit. I mean, it's like, you know, it's like one of the OGs. High risk. Okay, this thing, not really, you know, reliable. Previous victims say otherwise. They didn't really tell people that they can't sell right away they can't sell their squid right away uh they didn't even tell us how players can earn marbles they just, just said oh it's like what's the game mechanics there's no game mechanics just generalized there you go squid game honeypot they cannot sell owner is not renounced some say that this is fine because sometimes um the devs need to adjust the game especially since if it's still a new game or if the game is still in beta and also do maintenance and all that stuff red flag creator wallet contains less than five percent of token supply so substantial amount of tokens so eight 
0.12%. They can automatically do a rug pull with this percentage of ownership. That only means that they can, you know, manipulate the market, manipulate the price of their coin, just kind of similar to what uh, PVU devs did. If they thought that their coin or their NFTs are, you know, quite expensive, they they'll try to like sell it to push the prices down. Um, all other holders possess less than 5% of token supply. There's a wallet containing a substantial amount of tokens which could have a large impact of the price if sold. So if you look here, holders, there's somebody with with 16%. I believe this is the dev, 8%. Another thing that comes up here in token sniffer is at least 95% of liquidity burned or locked. There's nothing like that. <laughs> This is suspicious. This 16.96% isn't locked, only this. That's why players can't convert their squid back to whatever token they want and then convert that legit token to, to cash. So the devs are trying to prevent the players from dumping that token. Then the developers should assure its players that they're not going to run away with their money anytime soon. So if you see here in the liquidity um, info, non-existent, Unlock date is October 20th, 2024, but it's not even locked in the first place. Aside from the Netflix show, this them capitalizing on that show's popularity, it's been featured in CNBC, even in BBC. Should they be held liable for, you know, reporting about this game without doing proper disclosure that them reporting this game does, doesn't necessarily mean that they're endorsing this game? But although they, they mentioned in somewhere in their article, that players should take extra caution before jumping into this game or into trading this squid. So uh, them featuring this on their headlines, they just use these clickbait titles. It made this game even more popular than it should be. It's similar to influencers promoting a coin or a game. Well, another another red flag actually is people can't people can't comment on their on their Twitter account. They even used Elon Musk, although Elon is actually referring to the Squid Game in Netflix, not their Squid Game, not their scammy game. So sixth sign, there's just no way you can withdraw your money. Valuable investors will immediately, you know, be warned if something is a honeypot. If there's like a statement there that you can't easily sell, whatever, whatever. So they like they've designed a mechanism for players not to be able to withdraw funds and disguise it as something that is like an anti-dump okay they have a white paper and they said that as you can see squid implements an un innovative anti-dump mechanism what does that mean buying in the market will release selling credits with a rate of two is to one marble so th the way i understand it is it's like there's let's say five hundred thousand uh dollars worth of squid um from victims and then if somebody tries to sell their squid uh, you're not assured that you can sell it, it's like a first probably first come first serve basis if like a whale starts dumping all let's say so half of five hundred thousand so two hundred fifty thousand dollars so there's no selling credits left anymore for the other players so that's how i understood it with pvu They've increased the requirement, uh, the LE requirements, the, the exchange rate. It's it's just unreasonable. One more thing, this NFT game isn't audited yet. They just said here in the white paper, we are approaching an audit authority so far. Audit report will be published on our social medias and website before the pre-sale. But pre-sale already happened. Where is it? There's nothing here uh, linking to that audit. So the devs are, if you search David Canny, for example, you can't find any LinkedIn. You, you see David Canny, but no David Canny. So here in Plant vs. Undead, there's no list of devs here at all. Although in their um, medium, previous Medium blog, which was banned for some reason, I don't know why, but that's a red flag for me. They've listed the names, although I'm, I didn't check if those names are legit in the first place or if just invented. Okay, so for example, here in Wanaka Farm, check the devs. So this is the devs. There you have, you can see, uh, so Trung Tran is the co-founder, CEO. There's a link of their Twitter account, Facebook account. They're, they're pretty transparent. You can like call their previous employers and see if they're, re they're a real person. Because you can also invent, like you can just invent 
a LinkedIn profile, but that's too much work. This isn't foolproof, but it's better compared to to PVU and Squid Game. Another sign that it's a scam is devs are trying to pull the hacker card. So someone is trying to hack our project these days. Not only the Twitter account, Google Squid Game, but also our smart contract. I mean, you're a dev. You're supposed to prioritize security. I don't know. We are trying to protect it, but the price is still abnormal. Really? I mean, the price of the co the price of the game, the price of your token, should be affected by the hacking well it can be but it shouldn't be like a direct correlation you know it's it's only gonna happen if your player base starts selling but they're not they couldn't even sell so who's selling who's driving these prices down squid game dev does not want to continue running the project as we are depressed from the scammers and is overwhelmed with stress wow right similar to what happened in pvu oh our seeds have been taken by a lot of hackers and they're trying to sell them off to the market that's why the prices went yeah <laughs> okay and obviously is their website is gone but although again by the time you reach this is already too late okay so their discord channel is already gone instagram also gone similar to their website so yeah i hope this helps if it does please leave it a thumbs up subscribe i'll be featuring more about crypto stuff nft games i'll also be uploading other other less plays as usual like pv and sims 4 i actually want to continue still want to continue this challenge so thank you guys for tuning in and see ya